Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with a new year video here for you all. I uh, just wanted to take this time to thank everyone for following the channel. Um, you know, it's been a huge growth year in terms of what we've seen, but as well, uh, the amount of activity that we've seen as well in the year, all the updates, the challenges, all the guides that I've been able to go through, as well as the big uh, monumental unlocks and big apocalypse. Uh, going through Dark Dimension 6 with Baby Apoc and then finally getting through it and unlocking Super Scroll, who's been an absolute game changer. So I just want to thank you all but as well. Uh, taking a look at what's going to be coming up in the 2024 year, guys. And um, I wanted to make this video because it's a retrospective video, but, you know, quality of life updates and game modes that we are looking forward to and hoping that they're going to make some big changes and uh, some key points to address, especially uh, given the last blog post where it was a little lackluster. We didn't get the detail and information we want. Um, hopefully they have some of this information coming soon, as I know folks are very, very, um, you know, looking forward to the new year, but as well anticipating exciting things to come right so first and foremost guys i want to talk about some quality of life things that hopefully they're going to be able to address because i think it's been long overdue but as well uh things that are going to make it just easier on the player base and community right um and the big one really is less bugs errors and glitches i mean i think we've seen it over and over time to time with how they've done the patches is that you, re you really don't know what you're getting with each update and um and by that i mean not just the the content update but really uh the amount of issues that come up whether using different android or apple devices um this could very well play an impact um you know leading to folks getting their phones frozen uh unable to log in and this led to an escalation of different issues in the game as well so uh it just hopefully they can streamline this hopefully they can you know uh, quality test this better uh, but um, as of late, you know, it has not been proven to be successful. So definitely things they need to look over for sure. Another one is uh, the raid sim uh, feature that we've already had implemented. Um, we saw this first starting with Blitz Sim and then it transferred over to raid simming. But as well, uh, we need this going beyond those two game modes. You know, there's game modes such as War and Cosmic Crucible where maybe you don't want to be manually playing it. Um, and, and especially when you're trying to get into 10 to... 13 attacks for your war there are some easy wins that you can lock in and just that little quality of life i think is really big because it can save uh folks a couple of minutes uh for each attack but it adds up especially if you know it's a guaranteed win it can definitely add up and it's just a easy way to implement they already have the system in play in two different game modes so really it's just them transferring it over to the other game modes Hopefully that happens, and then on that way, um, you could, you can do streamlined things like getting in the attacks easier, especially when you have like a um, you know empty shell room and you just want to blitz through all the attacks, get the attacks in, uh, and it helps your line, saves time for everyone. Everyone's you know um, getting more time efficiency as well. Another big one I think is the inventory, guys. I think this is another one of those like elephants in the room that they're trying to figure out what to do with. But um, now that we've at least seen this amassing and accumulation of all the red stars, uh, everyone should have very, uh, you know, uh, a generous size of the, the four reds, five reds, and six and beyond. Um, and and even my red star videos now, it's just abundantly clear that we're just getting this this uh, bountiful amount of resources and not really anything to do with it, right? Silver credits are kind of left in the dust right now. Uh, purple and orange gear, um, unless you're in the mid game, um, if you're in end game, you're, you just have these, these gear like stockpiling and there's not really much you can do. Hopefully there's a way that we can reuse these resources. I like what they've done with the Ultimus and Ultra Store. Um, they've created an opportunity now where folks can actually purchase relevant characters using a material that's been in the game um, that hasn't been useful at all. Um, and that's what I mean. That's a great mechanic. Um, definitely they should be looking into that. So that way it does expand that, but as well gives players more autonomy and control in using resources that aren't really well utilized. And again, um, creates more of a, a streamlined economy, having everything kind of funneling into, um, you know, the resources they actually do need. And guys, um, this one's going to be, you know, a, a, an ongoing complaint, right? Which is level 100 is coming. Um, they We know how they scale the gold and the level increases. So uh, we need more gold. We need more gear. And especially, I think the biggest one uh, out of this is the T-Forge as well. We've seen with the majority of new teams coming out, um, you really have to be strategic with the, which T-Forge you upgrade. But the thing is, is most of these new teams, they only work when the majority of the, uh, the characters have um, special T-Force being activated on their abilities, right? And that's usually two to three per character uh, just to get them to function properly. So um, it's a huge bottleneck that does need to be addressed, um, especially uh, for the end game players that are trying to keep up with all the new teams. And that means usually your you know, 
T4 maxing three to four characters out of the five uh, just to make them useful, especially if they're in raids and you get a lot of value from the T4s of those raid abilities as well. So hopefully that's something they're going to be able to address. Um, we also have new game modes that are confirmed and coming, right? Uh, I think it's going to be starting with the Escape from Kiln, but obviously we saw with the Siege, um, that's going to be a new alliance setting too, and I'm looking forward to that. It's just a different kind of slice of uh, attacking with strategy and still um, synergizing with your with your alliance members on how that's going to be done. So I love the strategy that's going to be involved there, but um, it remains to be seen. We need to talk about the legendary horseman elephant in the room as well. How are the scourges going to be placed? Um, this was something I was hoping that they would address uh, late December, early January. So there's still a bit of time for them, but I mean, um, the fact is, is that these horsemen scourges have been long overdue and they've stopped uh, i think it's been a, a bit i think it's been half a year now since they've last run and uh folks that are coming into the game or um uh, as a mid-game player they're they're strapped right now if they don't have those those character unlocks um they're basically unable to unlock apocalypse and you need all all five members of those horsemen teams to participate in the saga so i think it's just a big bottleneck um if they're not gonna you know streamline an effective uh, scourge way right now they should at least present an opportunity where shards of these horsemen characters can be achieved uh they can be achieved free to play uh so that way everyone is gonna have a fair shot at getting apocalypse but uh in the meantime if you were the unfortunate few that got into the game and the horsemen scourges have concluded you know you're basically left well the second best character in the game no matter how your resources are doing even if you spend you're not going to be getting them so uh just something they need to address hopefully in the future pretty soon here um i think that's a really big one that many folks were hoping to get some clarity on and then guys i think another big one is just keep refining the crucible seasons i think they've done a better and better job with each season that's come about um the theory crafting involved the teams but i'm still seeing the same and similar cookie cutter teams that are used so um a couple things they can do right like i i think maybe even creating like a shorter season um, uh, opportunity to open up the rooms a little bit more so that they, that way you can see multiple teams being slotted in. We definitely did see this effort um, exemplified in this recent Cosmic Crucible season. Like I've seen with every ranking I go up in, I do see that there's a mixture of different teams. So I do appreciate that, but they can always do better. Um, obviously refining that and and i'm glad they're at least taking in the feedback and, and making note of that for sure but definitely exciting guys i'm super excited about the two new game modes hopefully they keep doing things that do work too like um i'm not sure what happened in pocket dimension but everybody loved that um you know the uh, sword satellite was a was a beloved mode as well hopefully they bring that back as well um it's not fun when you have these one and dones and even um honestly even the gambit rates super super fun hopefully they bring in some aspect of that back um you know there's a there's a lot of good things they do but you know it really confuses me when they don't bring them back and uh, you know the, the player community clearly vocalizes their interest in it so hopefully they just listen more and, and bring these events back but yeah um we're seeing a really good direction in the game right now they're taking the right steps um uh, and they're listening to our feedback which is huge and i think this is going to set way for a really successful 2024 year so guys um having said that then i just want to wrap this up and you know um taking this time to say thank you i really appreciate each and every one of you giving my channel a follow a subscribe uh it's been quite the journey this year um i've seen some really good growth for the channel and uh yeah just appreciate all of you uh the guides and and the legendary events are always exciting to make and i'm just glad my insight and uh experience has been able to help you folks so um happy new years i hope you guys enjoy your downtime as well but definitely looking forward to a fruitful 2024 year thank you as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one